Happy New Year, everybody. Um, hope you have a hope you've had a lovely Christmas as well. Um, right, so today's video is for the January Boxu box. Just popped outside because there was a note in with the post to say that um, there'd been a, a packet put somewhere for me. So here we are. So without further ado, let's get this one open. It's always packaged up very well. Lots and lots of sellotape. And a nice big bubble bag. Let's see if I can get all this wrapping off. Okay. And this is this month's box. Very lovely design. I think it will probably be one of the limited edition design boxes. So here we go, off with the lid and look. It's got this lovely red interior all the way through. So there's the Happy New Year card from Danny. There you go. So I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. Uh, in Japan, it's common to send Negajo or New Year's cards in December that arrive in January. They let your friends and family know how you're doing and spread some holiday cheer. Think of this as your Neng Negajo from the Boxu family. And may your 2020 be full of happiness, good fortune and of course great snacks. Happy snacking and happy holidays. So yeah, lovely little card. Thank you, Danny. Yes, I know everybody that gets this box through box will have that card in. I know it's not personal just to me. Oh, and we've got New Year in Kanagawa is the theme of this month's box. So we have a little bit of information about New Year in Kanagawa. Let's see if I can find the snacks in the box in sequence. Right, so the first one is maple syrup cupcakes. It should be somewhere in here. No, that's not it. A nice stuff full box. Do you know it's probably going to take a while for me to find that, and I'll just um, take them off the top and tell you a little bit about each of them. Right, so on the top of the box, we have red snapper crackers. So these are shaped like a tai, which is a traditional Japanese red snapper fish. These puff crackers have complex flavour that is balanced by a light sweetness. The snap to this snack goes further than just the tai though. Each tiny fish is puffed to perfection and is wonderfully crispy to bite into. They're glazed with a sweet coating that will have you polishing off the bag before you know it. Mmm. Right. So this. Two packets of red snapper crackers. Next up is a bag of Kamakura fried potato cheddar cheese. What's this? Nice big bag. Look at that. Nearly as big as my head. Moyoshi Yakata opened in 1986 in Kamakura to bring back the tradition of Imokan, traditional sweet shops that made sweets with sweet potatoes. 
Emoyishi Yakata highlights the purple sweet potato in particular, making a variety of sweets from their prized ingredient book this month. We're highlighting one of their delicious savoury options. These potato sticks are like crisp French fries, covered in a cheddar cheese powder. Not exactly traditional, but that's why we love them. Right, next up, there is, flipping through the book, Berry Shot Cake Rusk. And this is a twice baked baguette slice. Has a stunning berry pink swirl in the center. The white swirl is plain white, plain while the pink carries the berry flavor, making the taste as delicate as the texture. It's finished with a brush of butter and a sprinkle of sugar on top to bring out the sweetness. To create the distinct crisp texture, Kamakuriyama Rusk lets the bread rest for a day before the first and second bake. And then we have the maple syrup hot cakes. Uh, just, a, a, just like a delicious tiny pancake, the maple filling on the inside will make you feel like you're eating a fresh breakfast. Hot cakes in Japan are sweeter and softer than their Western pancake counterparts. The distinction is clear as soon as you bite into the soft cake. No need to add any additional syrup though, as the filling between these two honeyed cakes is plenty sweet. And then I have Yokohama Caramel Ring Cake. Uh, Sanyo Bosan was founded in 1962 and since then has been sharing the history and culture of Yokohama with the next generation through their products. This ring cake is soaked with a caramel sauce, which keeps it soft and sweet. After dipping each cake in the caramel sauce, it is brulee to give that lovely colour on top. To really amp up the caramel flavour, caramel paste and caramel powder are used in the batter. Though some may find this cake a bit too sweet, we recommend pairing it with an earthy or dark tea to balance it out. Next up, we have Puku Puku Thai Chocolate. So this is another one along the theme of the Red Snapper. Our favourite chocolate fish is swimming back to us. Chock full of chocolate goodness, this airy moose-filled treat is also full of calcium. So yeah, good for you too. This treat is a variation of Monaka, a traditional Japanese confection, featuring two layers of mochi wafers encasing a sweet filling. This modern update replaces the traditional azuki red bean filling with chocolate mousse. Thai are common around the new year because their red colour wards off evil spirits. And Thai is the word is in the word Menda Thai, meaning celebration. So the next one that we have is Mala Agassen Fried Rice Cracker. And that's this one. Oh, Ryoman Shoji originally began as Yokohama Chinatown's first Sichuan restaurant, Jukai Hanten, in 1959. The restaurant still exists today, but Ryoman Shoji now also makes snacks, so customers can bring the flavour of the restaurant home with them. This fried rice cracker highlights their signature spicy mala sauce. You'll crunch into this snack only to find your mouth tingling with flavour from the capsicum. Don't worry, the spice isn't too overpowering to the point of not being able to enjoy the other treats in this month's box after this snack. Thank goodness for that. Right, let's see if I can find the next one. Right, yes, that one's here. And it's Shonan, sorry, Shonan Green Lemon Cake. And this is that one. You can just see it in the packet there with its green colour. This cake features a citrus unique to Kanagawa, the Shonan Green Lemon. 
The zest of the lemon is mixed straight into the cake batter for a super citrusy flavour. This maker is based in Yokohama and developed this cake to celebrate their regional ingredient. This cake is one of our favourite examples of how they combine the traditional with the new in their French inspired treats. We've never had a cake so deliciously lemony before and this wonderful crumb of the wonderful crumb of this cake keeps it just subdued enough to still be sweet. Right. Next up we've got these which are great buddy great buddha gummy cola and soda. So that's the cola one. A little Buddha shaped gummy there. This is the soda one. Right, so these two little gummies are mixing tradition and trend with their cola and soda flavours in the shape of Kamakura's Great Buddha. The cola flavour smells like Coca Cola and is faintly effervescent, while the soda flavour reminds us of drinking a cold glass of Ramoon on a hot summer's day. These gummies are exclusive to this store in Kamakura and can't be found anywhere else in Japan. The paper you peel back becomes Omikuji fortune slips on the inside of the package, making them a fun souvenir for travellers. Um, a few boxes ago, uh, there was um, a bag of um, the uh, Ramoon soda sweets uh, so if this gummy tastes like that it's going to be really nice uh, that was a really nice bag of sweets so right, next up we have Saki Waffle Setuchi Lemon and this is that so we will never say no to a waffle this waffle is a bit on the denser side, which is good for a richer flavour like this. It is sweet and has a lovely lemony and almost aromatic flavour that lingers. It is made with setuchi lemons, which are known for being sweeter than most lemons, making them great for baking. While we enjoy this waffle just as it is, we also suggest heating it gently in a toaster or microwave and adding a little syrup for an elevated treat. That'll be a nice one. Right, next up, we've got Shunan Gold Crispy Candy, which is that. These beautiful gold candies are made for chewing. Don't be scared to bite into one. The texture is almost flaky, like no other candy we've had before. This type of candy is called Areheito and has been made for over 500 years. Areheito Saizyo Hongpo brought back this tradition. Each candy is handcrafted with carefully selected ingredients like the Shonan Gold Citrus that flavours this candy. Shonan Gold is unique to Kanagawa Prefecture and is sweet, fragrant, it's sweet, fla fragrant flavour makes this crispy candy very addictive. Shame there's only one bag. Right. Next up, if I can find it. Oh, it's another packet of hot cakes. Ah, here we go. Right, so this is Country Mom Fragrant Vanilla. And there's two of those in the box. The Fujia's Country Mom line of cookies is beloved for their rustic, almost homemade feel. This month we've chosen the fragrant vanilla flavour, which has a soft centre and is and a sprinkling of chocolate chips. It is a classic flavour, which is probably why it's become one of Japan's favourite cookies since its debut in 1984. Fujiya makes all of the Country Mom 
cookies right in Hatono City, Kanagawa. That, paired with the red and gold packaging, celebratory colours in Japan, make it a perfect fit for our theme this month. Then we have Yokohama Butter Sandwich Cookie, which is that one. These butter cookies are a popular gift for tourists visiting Yokohama because each cookie has little vignettes of the city printed on them. More than just being cute though, these cookies are filled with a luscious buttercream that balances the more savoury cookies. Takara Seika has been proudly baking in Yokohama since 1946, so many of their cookies feature old-timey symbols of life in the port city. Next up, we have Yokohama Sesame Oil Okaki Rice Crackers. And that's just the one packet of those. It's quite a big packet. Um, and it's little pieces. I don't think you can just tell there. Right. So these rice crackers don't play around when it comes to sesame. The rich scent of sesame oil wafts from the bag as you open it. Each crunky crack <laughs> crunchy cracker is 100% glutinous rice and is coated with both soy sauce, specially brewed for Minoya Arare and Iwai Nogama Abura's speciality sesame oil. They they're just not in no oh crikey sorry cob's not working they're just hot enough to keep you warm in winter the combination of soy and sesame makes these crackers deeply savory and extremely delicious i guess that's why they won a gold medal at the monday selection award in 1967 and then lastly there's two tea bags and these are Hakone Sanroku Black Tea Akafuji. And on the bag it says, Foot of a Mountain, the Foot of a Mount Hakone Black Tea. Let me just see that there. These tea bags feature a famous print of Akafuji, a phenomenon known in English as Diamond Fuji where the morning sun lines up with the peak of Mount Fuji and turns it red. This black tea is a blend of leaves from local Kanagawa tea makers chosen for their fine quality. The flavour is bold and a bit fragrant, almost floral. It's also quite smooth and is less astringent than some other black teas. And then underneath you have some brewing instructions. Right, so that's all the products in this month's box. And then as you go on through the book, there's a couple of pages uh, titled Get to Know Kamakura. That's that. And there's a couple more pages on Getting to Know Kamakura. And then next month's hint, Love is in the Air and also in your box, Sue. The sweet love of snacks. So yes, it's going to be a Valentine theme one for February. And that's there. Right. Hope you've enjoyed this um, little um, intro into this month's box. Um, I'm not going to sit and eat any of them on camera this month uh, because I've got to go and get ready for work now. But I hope you've enjoyed me reading from the little book and telling you about each of the snacks. Uh, right, this video is nearly 20 minutes long now, so I'm going to go. And I'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye, everybody. And once again, Happy New Year.